<laughs> I'm just recording on my phone this morning. So I'm not used to that. I'm used to having my camera. But I just got to the office. It's Saturday morning. And I don't typically come in on Saturdays, but perk of being a, your own boss, you can say, hey, I kind of took Friday afternoon off and I want to get a head start on stuff for the next week. So I'm going to come in on Saturday morning while there's nothing going on with the family. Austin was just waking up when I left. Eric and Wyatt were just heading out. Wyatt has his very first lesson at School of Rock this morning. He is so very excited to start that program. Um, just individual lessons for now and then starting, I think they said in January, because right now they're in the middle of like a touring season. So starting in January, I'm pretty sure that's when they said, um, he will start doing the group practices so that he can start playing live shows with with them. So he's super excited. We're super excited for him. Excited to see how he likes it. Cause see, this is what he's like so passionate about is music. So we're very excited for him, but I'm going to pack some orders. There's so many orders that came in yesterday from the shop update. Thank you guys so very much for all of your orders from the update. So I'm going to get packing slips printed and just kind of get a head start. I probably won't get a ton of orders packed today, but it'll just Kind of set me up to be ahead of the game for the week and i am wearing my stephen west mystery and along it's all blocked and done I'm wearing it i'll put some pictures in here of it like all spread out but yeah i actually don't mind it you can't really see all of the craziness that kind of i thought was like too much for me you can't even really see that when it's on like this so i think it's good I've packed up some orders and now I'm going to drop them at the post office and then it is time to head home. Back home and I have a pretty <laughs> full basket of hand knit socks to get put away that I washed yesterday. Oh, so it is a little bit later. We've had lunch. We had some grilled cheese. It was delicious. It's been my favorite recently. Grilled cheese with pickle, mayo, and mustard. Kind of strange maybe, but it's amazing. So yes, we had grilled cheese. Eric just ran to the store to grab a couple of things. He's actually going camping this evening. So it'll just be me, the boys, and the zoo. All the animals are, will be here with us. So I wanted to hop on here while Eric was gone. Um and go through, I have a bag over here of some things that have come in the mail. Some of these I've had for quite a while, but just in kind of, I've talked so much about this, about me like taking a step back and trying to find the joy in recording again and, and the videos. I have taken a step away from doing like a formal sit down podcast. And with that means that some things that had come in the mail kind of just got set to the side and not shown. So I wanna make sure that I show those. Um, and I do have a giveaway to share that I need to make sure we get to because um, a company has offered a giveaway for the podcast. So we're going to go through that stuff. If you don't want to see anything that's come in the mail or anything like that, that's totally fine. I'll try to remember to put a time down here at the bottom that you can skip ahead to and you can just skip ahead. It's fine. Will not hurt my feelings at all. <laughs> The giveaway though, let's do that really quickly. It is being so generously offered by Revive Essential Oils. I have been using them for so long. I've been using essential oils for many, many, many years. Um, but Revive, I've been using them for probably a little over a year now or about a year. I can't recall when I first started using um, their particular, particular essential oils, but I love them. The prices are amazing. Their products are amazing. They sent me one of their fall boxes and I was originally supposed to do this as a giveaway on Instagram, but I've seen so many people have issues with giveaways on Instagram where people create fake accounts and try to steal followers information. And I was like, Hey, y'all, do you mind if I do this on Instagram? And they were so amazing and said, of course, or I'm sorry, do you mind if I do this on YouTube, <laughs> not Instagram? 
they were amazing instead of course. So I'm gonna link their website and their Instagram down below. If you're on Instagram, please head over and check them out give them a follow if you want, since this was originally supposed to be done on Instagram. But I have the fall box and I absolutely love it. I will put a picture up here and all you have to do to enter to win this fall box is comment down below this video. And I will draw a winner within 48 hours of when this video goes up. If you wanna put like just essential oils or something in the comments, so I know that it's for that. That way I don't draw somebody who does not um, want to win the essential oils. And then I will just comment on your comment and say, hey, you won. Can you email me with your information? And then I will get that off to revive. So if you are interested in that, just comment down below. But okay, mail stuff. <laughs> so I did receive the November share a pair from Mandy's Makings, and we've been splitting these for the whole year. And it's so exciting that we're getting to the end of our first year of knitting these together. So this was Christmas tree lighting. This is the November share a pair. And I will have all of these shops that I share linked down below. Then I did share this on Instagram. So this was a project bag that was sent to me by Cabana Berry Designs. That's not her shop is on Etsy, but that's not the name of her shop when you type it in. So I will have it linked down below, but it's such a sweet Christmas fabric. I love it. And the bag is so so well made. I love this fabric up at the top too. Nice boxed bottom and drawstring bag. I can't wait to get, I shared that yesterday um, on Instagram and then I was like itching to cast on some Christmas socks. <laughs> but I'm trying to be so good still and not start anything new. This bag was so sweetly, uh oh, I'm dropping things. Oh, that's a sticker. That's exciting. So this bag was so sweetly sent to me by a, a podcast viewer and they know that I love practical magic. So this fabric is all, all practical magic. And the bag is from Lila Styles. Is there, does she have a tag on here? I don't think she does, but I will link her shop down below. It is from Lila Styles. So thank you so much for sending this. This was so sweet and generous of you. I can't wait to use this next fall. So I actually have two row one yarn subscriptions. Last month's is at the bottom of this bag. This is this month's, November's. Row one is a mini skein yarn subscription service. She does a different yarn dyer each month. We just have a little packet here with information on the yarn dyer for the month. And then there's always, oh my gosh, it's my favorite, Biscoff. Which speaking of, somebody so sweetly sent me two things of Biscoff cookies, so thank you. There's some tea, and then a little progress keeper that is a stand mixer, that's cute. Oh my goodness, and there's a pumpkin bread recipe in here. How exciting is that? I am not a pumpkin fan to eat it or drink anything pumpkin flavored, but I do love the smell of pumpkin. This is the Red Pansy is the yarn dyer. I have never heard of them, so that is super exciting. So you always have a sheet that has the colorway names listed, tells you a little bit about the yarn dyer for the month, and they are gorgeous. I did peek in the package when they came. So these are so, so pretty. I really, really need to find something to do with all of my row one. Okay. Oh, here's my other one. It wasn't completely in the bottom. Okay, so this was last month. Like I said, it just kind of got buried. I haven't even opened the little packet. Oh my gosh, they're gorgeous. So this is Porter Woolco. 
Another one I've never heard of. Ooh, we have a Rowan sticker too. And a spider progress keeper. So here is what these look like. So, so pretty. Oh my gosh. I really need to find something to do with all of these. Eric's going to come home and be like, what are you doing in here? <laughs> okay. So, so this yarn is from the Yarn in the Bees. It is hand dyed in Fort Erie, Ontario. This is a sock set pixie dust and light fuchsia. And we have another sock set that is Raspberry Ripple and Waffle Cone. And Colonial Blue. Oh my gosh. If you have watched um, Houses with History, Lindsay of Sock Witchery told me about this show. And we watch on Discovery Plus. I think it's on HGTV. Um, they do a lot of colonial homes. They restore them and they use a lot of colonial blue, colonial green. I don't know who that is. It's always with the neighbors, but can you hear his car? <laughs> Dexter's like, what's going on? Um, but anyway, so now I'm like totally obsessed with colonial blue, colonial green. I'm like, Eric, I love, 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 love these colors in a home. They're so warm and cozy. So this is beautiful. It's coming out a little, little bit more blue, blue than it is in person. Okay, Amanda of Mandy's Making sent me a couple of her sock sets. This is a Cruella. And then this is Silly Monsters. And she actually sent this one for a giveaway. So we'll go ahead and do that here since we're showing it. If you just want to comment down below, um, and then I'll draw a winner and I'll just comment and let the winner know. I'll draw it probably within a week for this one. Um, so yeah, Silly Monster sock set. Okay, just a couple more things. I may have ordered <laughs> some Christmas yarn from Zebra Yarns. I believe I ordered this when she was having a sale. It is her Christmas color two. It's the self striping. comes with the mini skein. I don't know that I'll get to this this year for the holiday season, but I thought it was super, super pretty. This is from Tia's Trific Threads. She sent over some yarn. This is her art school. Hers is self-striping as well. Okay, my battery died on my camera. I'm well prepared today. I didn't charge it after the last vlog I did. So we're just gonna record this little bit on the phone. Um, weird angle, not as good quality, but it's all good. So this is If You're Happy. And then Heartbeat, this one is not self-striping. Such a beautiful color. And then she sent along two mini skeins. I think these are, these are the same color. It doesn't, oh. No, there is no colorway listed, but they look like they are the same. So, so beautiful. Okay, the very last thing that I have to show is from Kimber's Cozy Creations, and it is a mini skein set called, it's just the Fall Tonals 2021 mini skein set. Look how beautiful these are. You guys know me, like that is my color. That is so, so gorgeous. So make a gorgeous pair of socks. And she did give us a coupon code for Kimber's Cozy Creations. I'm going to put it at the bottom of the screen here because it's in my email and I'm on my phone. <laughs> um, so yeah, I will put that at the bottom of the screen. I will have the shop's link down below. If there's a coupon code for them, it will be with the link down below this video. Now I have a lot of stuff to clean up in here. Some of these goodies that I got will be going into the prize cabinet for the podcast or for um, knit-alongs, anything like that. I think that Dexter needs to go out, so I better go take him out. I'm 
sitting here with a sleeping Dexter. Eric left to go camping. I'm gonna get some cookies going in the oven and I am ready for the toe on both of these socks. I decided to go ahead and get these done because Dexter was on me and it was just easier to work on socks than a sweater sleeve where I'm alternating skeins. <laughs> I decided, so Wyatt was playing music downstairs and he was playing Pretty Woman, which School of Rock lesson went really well this morning. He really enjoyed it, but he was playing Pretty Woman. And I was like, oh, I wanna watch Pretty Woman. So I start looking to see if I can find it on Hulu or Netflix, and I pull up Hulu first and type it in. Pretty Woman is not on there, but my best friend's wedding came up, and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna watch that. So I'm watching my best friend's wedding. I'm about an hour into it. <laughs> Been watching it for a little bit. And I kind of think I'm just gonna have a Julia Roberts marathon. What are your guys' favorite Julia Roberts movies? I adore her. My Best Friend's Wedding, Pretty Woman, Runaway Bride, Stepmom, what else? There's so many. She's just so good. Um, this is one of my favorites. Oh my gosh, it's one of my favorites. Let me know what your favorite Julia Roberts movies are. I just think I'm going to have a, a marathon. It's, I can't even read that clock to see what time it is. Oh, my phones are here almost 2 30. so i don't know which one i'll watch next i'll probably just search um i love runaway bride and i love pretty woman stepmom sad for sure so i don't know that i'll i'm kind of like in the mood for a sad movie it's good though we'll see what we watch the boys are off playing games i think downstairs so I'm just gonna make some cookies, do some knitting, and watch some movies. And then I think we're gonna order barbecue for dinner. So, perfect. Perfect evening, I think. All right, I've just ordered, I have my head cut off. I've just ordered our dinner, fed the zoo members, <laughs> watching something to talk about second julia roberts movie and i've actually never seen this so it's fun to watch something that i've never seen before i finished my socks let me show you those actually i'll turn this around that'll be better are done i'm so excited to have another project off of my needles this is the desert vista dye Works summer sock camp 2021 colorway I used, it came with a mini skein, so I used that for heels and toes. Did heel toe do -si do sock pattern. It feels good to clear another, another project off the needles. So now I need to decide what I'm gonna work on. I have some of my works in progress in a basket back here behind the couch. I might grab my other sweater. I have my bean and olive sweater, my arboreal. I was so like, I wanna get a sleeve done, but it's harder to work on that sleeve when Dexter's awake. Um, Cause I'm alternating skeins and I, it's just harder. So bean and olive, I'm on the body, straight stuck in it. I might work on that this evening or maybe just some more socks. We'll see. I'm excited for dinner to get here though, because I'm still so hungry. listen to it. How was your dinner? Good. You gonna show us your dance moves? No. Come on. <laughs> Wyatt, where are you going? All right. I'm in my PJs, all comfy for the evening, even though it's only, it's not even six o'clock. <laughs> Y'all probably wonder why you never see my kids anymore.
They do not want to be recorded, do you? Neither of them do anymore. And Austin used to love it. And Wyatt used to tolerate it. Now they do not want to be recorded. So that is why I do not see their faces. I respect their wishes. They were just dancing and they will not dance for this either. But yes, I'll update you on my knitting as soon as I sit down. I'll tell you what I decided to work on this evening. Huh? Was dinner good? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I still need to take down the Halloween decorations. I had not even thought about the fact that we still had Halloween decorations up until I've been recording today. <laughs> Look at my new pajamas. These are from Old Navy. <laughs> um, they have, it's like stockings on them. They're very comfy and cozy. And I liked that Old Navy had tall because typically I get a lot of my flannel pajamas from Target. They've had some knit and crochet ones in the past and I've gotten those and they're great and comfy, but they shrink. So, and they only have one length that I know of. Maybe they have others and I've just never seen them, but I'm about five, six. And when those shrink, they're too short in the arms and they're too short in the legs. So I typically end up buying like a large or an extra large to try to accommodate for it shrinking, but then they don't fit around my waist. <laughs> so I was very happy that Old Navy had tall and then I could get just my normal size. They did shrink up just a little bit, but now they're like the perfect length in the arms and the legs. So anyways. Old Navy, if you want some cute stocking PJs. Okay, I grabbed two projects to work on. I am going to knit a bit on the body of my bean and olive. If you guys ever have questions about details on projects, I always have the yarn, needles, patterns, everything's in my Ravelry project page, pages. So yeah, I'm gonna knit a bit on the body of this and then I think I'm gonna work on these socks maybe. I don't know, I might, I actually might go grab a patterned sock. I have, these are a homespun house, it's just a plain vanilla sock. But I might save this for times when I need vanilla knitting. I think I'll grab my Autumn Crush socks because it's a cabled pattern. I can still do it while I watch TV and stuff, but since I'm not casting anything new on at the moment, I'm trying to work through my works in progress. You guys can probably hear the boys playing together upstairs. Um, it's a good time to work on a pattern sock while I'm sitting here watching TV. So I will work on that for a little bit and then I will switch over and work on this. All right, I just got up. I can't reach. <laughs> Grabbed a couple of cookies. And I have decided, so, this was my Autumn Crush socks. <laughs> I ripped them out. The pattern is gorgeous, and there were no issues with the pattern. Dexter's sniffing the camera, so if you can hear weird noises, that is what you're hearing. Um, for one, I think I should have went up a needle size, because it's all over cables. It was going to be too small. I tried it on and the cuff, I had just finished the cuff and the cuff was too small and I just really wasn't feeling an all over cabled pattern anymore. 
Um, so instead of like completely frogging the entire project, I mean, I did frog it, but like completely scratching the entire project and not knitting the socks, I decided to cast them on. So ripped out, cast on with the contrast color. I'm thinking I might do Rhinebeck Roomies or something. Maybe just a vanilla sock. We'll see when I get the cuff done. I'm just gonna do a couple rounds in the purple and then switch to the main color and knit away. These will be for my mother-in-law. I'm hoping she didn't have her heart set on those <laughs> cabled socks. They were so pretty, but I just wasn't feeling it. And I'm so motivated to get things off of my needles that I thought, you know, let's like not completely scratch the project, like I said, but still use the yarn, still make her a pair of socks that I'll probably set aside for Christmas. Um, but do a pattern that I'm going to enjoy since I didn't even have the cuff completely done yet. Um, seemed like a good time to make that decision. I'm watching Runaway Bride now, third Julia Roberts movie. <laughs> I was bummed because you can't rent, Pretty Woman is not on anywhere for free that I found anyways, and you can't rent it on Amazon. You have to buy it, which I could have done because I am positive I will watch it again at some point. It's something I have watched many times over the years. Um, sorry, Dexter is being very distracting, but yeah, so Runaway Bride because I just love Richard Gere and Julia Roberts, so. I'm going to finish watching that and work on this sock. I'll probably get into the main collar and then maybe switch over to my sweater. Mm -hmm. 